Welcome back, Game of Thrones players and fans. We're here in beautiful Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. About to watch the final of the Las Vegas Regional between Mikey on the right playing a Targaryen king. Mikey's on oh, the Mikey's left. Oh, Mikey's on the left now. Mikey switched seats on me. Uh, playing a Targaryen Kings of Summer deck against Robert on the right playing a Targaryen Fealty deck. So a Targ mirror match. We'll see if there's any uh, interesting burn plays or interactions that happen here. Any, yeah, uh, it's, any it's, thoughts before we get started? <laughs> well, Mikey knocked you out of the cut. Robert knocked me out of the cut. Well, there you um, go. At least we lost to the winners. Yeah, and uh, I got to see uh, Robert once in the final round of Swiss and then immediately rematched him in the cut. That's always the worst. So I got to see a good uh, portion of his deck. And uh, spoiler alert, there's lots of kill. Uh, when you say lots of kill, what do you uh, what do you mean by that beyond the usual Dracaris and such? Um, I'll see if he has to play it uh, this game. I don't know how comfortable he is with me sharing his his plots and whatnot. But uh, all I know is that uh, <laughs> on one turn he murdered five of my guys um, in one challenges phase. So it was pretty gross. He's got the burn stuff. He's got Miri. He's got Drogo. He's got I think. All the burn cards. I think he plays the new one, Dragon is No Slave. Um, card is very good, so I would hope he did. Yeah, and uh, especially for a fealty deck when you can reduce that card. Yeah, absolutely. And in case you were wondering, folks, this is Chris and I'm Luke. So uh, uh, did we not do that? Again? No, I don't think we introduced Fair ourselves, enough. did we? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> Chris Schoenthal, your current reigning North American champion. Got about another month and a half in me. <laughs> Looks like. Are they just waiting for the TO to give them the go ahead? I believe so, yeah. I think they're both ready for setups. Looks like they're both keeping. Yep. Maybe got another little bit of a glare issue going on. Mm hmm. Try and get that fixed when Matt gets back in here. Is this? All right, so it looks like they're both flopping four, which is, All right. uh, which is nice. Nice even flop. Got a Danny Chud. Oh. Only see three for Mikey, but they are a good okay. three. Both players have a Saris and a Jogo and, or a, yeah, Jogo and a Rhaegal. Mm -hmm. Both have a So basically, the difference is Jogo and Rhaegal versus Danny. Mm -hmm. Nedliest so, setup ever. That's right. Danny and her brother at Illyria's estate Classic. at the very beginning. Just like the movies. All right. So we're getting a redraw here. Which of these setups would you rather have? Um, I think I would definitely rather have. Looks like there's still some uh, glare on Mikey's cards on the, the right. Just his uh, okay uh, yeah. his house cards and then and, and the then plot probably deck. where his plot's gonna go. Yeah. Um, honestly, I, I don't know. They're pretty even. I think that I'd I'd rather have the icon diversity right now. I think I'd rather have the four card. Um, just depending on what's in my hand, you know. Sure. Having a, a dragon instead of Danny to have to kneel for Drac is preferable in my opinion. Yep. I, I don't disagree there. Although getting your bomb on the board and not having to spend money on it is uh, something to be said for that too. Mm -hmm. Looks like Mikey has a Dracaris and a Cal Drogo in his hand at least. So it'll be very interesting to see where he goes with his plots and, and what he plays out on the first turn here. Looks like he's so, going to open Summer Harvest. Yeah, and he's standard. been pretty consistent with that, which is interesting. Cause and uh, oh. this, is, this was Robert's opening both okay. games so against me. Coppers and opens coppers. That's he has a plot chain that if it goes off, it can be pretty devastating. Okay. We'll see if we see that. Looks There's like a drag. Part of his draw was a Dracarys himself. So. so we got some burn going on on both sides. Both players drawing for the turn. So that's a fistful of cards over there for Robert. Yep. No doubts. No doubts. And uh, it's only going to get better if Mikey plays a time for plenty next plot. Mm -hmm. So see where this goes. So we got to do. Oh, 
Looks like uh, Robert also has a Plaza of Pride to his mm -hmm. hand, amongst other things. It's one of the new all-stars for Targaryen, so. The card is uh, pretty devastating when it gets gets rolling, for sure. No joke. Another Lyria's Estate, so immediate econ boost. Okay. Heals them both. Get a crone. For a crone of Ice Dothrak. So anything that gets discarded off of Mikey's deck or hand will go to his dead pile instead of the discard pile, which mm -hmm. could be relevant here. It might even change what Mikey was planning to do with uh, his turn. And it's super tricky because she can kneel any Dothraki. And so, you sure. know, if you get the Blood Riders out and going and or you get a stand location like that, you can get some pretty nasty triggers off of that. And it fills it up for that Slaver's Bay port, and you almost don't really care what you get as long as you get characters in the dead pile at that point. Absolutely. Classic. Robert's kneeling for the for the direct trigger as well. So both players, we could see uh, we could see Dracaris going both ways in this challenge phase alone. Which would be quite interesting. Mm hmm Mikey's hold on the board is somewhat tenuous at this point. He doesn't really have a lot of. Robert's got to be shut careful here, there. but because throwing that dragon in, and if it could, if he goes ahead and burns it up, I don't know. He may not. He may save it for something else. But it sure, really but that's his only. That's his only drag character. He doesn't have the two like Mikey has. So let's see. Let's so see what oh, yeah, he's got Regal and Danny, so it's not a big deal. That uh, Altar Danny kind of blends into the background of it that does, play yeah, Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, looks like Danny is kneeling to defend, which is interesting. So he's going to. Oh, goodness. Ditch so. a put to the torch to stand Rago. Yep. Interesting. Looks like that may be the only trigger, and he's just going to. Oh, and he's, he's going to track Danny. Dracaris Danny. And I'm curious. If he has a dragon is no slave. I feel like he must, because so far that play doesn't have a lot of logic behind it. Unless he's just, I don't know, maybe just trying to get something in the dead pile, or just trying to prevent Danny from standing, maybe? Possibly. A non yeah, I mean, the kneeling Danny uh, does put some pressure on this military challenge that's coming in. No, I guess he's burnable anyway, so interesting. That uh, that play does not compute at the moment. Okay, then. We're going to have a Drac going back the other way on Rhaegal. All right. So you so spend the one, kneel your dragon. All right. See, and that, that's what I would have been worried about if I were Robert, is you know, swinging sure. with the dragon initially, if you want to threaten certain triggers, uh, seems... Unwise, because now he's lost a put to the torch. Yep, and he, it looks like he was doing that challenge just to just keep to Danny from standing. And, and now he gets a card out of it. Yep, okay. that was an incredibly favorable exchange for Mikey there. Yeah. Traded a, a put to the torch and a Dracaris. I'm looking through And here. a Rhaegal for... So he's got he's got a Plaza of Punishment in his hand. Um, interesting. Yeah, and he's not, like, super ahead on economy or anything. He's not, no. Hmm. That, was, that was an interesting play. So it's like a military th getting th blocked by the Blood Rider, probably. And he will win because Danny's standing. Yep. Not a great turn for Robert. Cheeky little power challenger. Robert does not defend. Daniel probably get through with an intrigue here. Well, she is only one strength until the end of the phase. Huh? That's a good point. I guess she won't get through. Although maybe the players uh, do not see this. It appears the players do not see. Yeah, it. I okay. Dracaris well, is, uh, Dracaris does last until the end, the end of the phase, phase so yes. he's losing another card needlessly. So he did have it, but he didn't have the goal to play it. Interesting. That is. You think that that's nerves or what? Uh, I mean, when you're on stream, it's I've, I've definitely made my share of mistakes on camera. Yeah. Uh, and especially if it's a, if it's the first time, I imagine there's some nerves there. 
Imagine being in the finals. He, uh, Robert is a local here in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. so uh, their that. meta is is good, but not uh, massive. So they don't have a ton of opportunities to play at, at the highest levels. Got that. And Mikey actually is coming off winning the uh, Kingdom Con tournament in San Diego a couple weeks ago. So, oh, okay. So playing uh, this or uh, he was actually playing Night's Watch Fealty oh. at the time. So he played the villain role that day. Fair enough. And uh, managed to manage to take down a final over a Targ Wolf deck. And while they're selecting plots here, folks, um, those of you that are watching, uh, the White Book is planning on recording this week, so we should be back here with a regular, uh, you know, uh, steady flow of episodes anytime here. Um, thank you for all of the support uh, on behalf of the entire cast. The uh, community outpouring has just been incredible. And uh, I know that Will appreciates it, as he's said multiple times in video casts. Uh, so once again, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And we wish all our best to Will and Kristen. Uh, it looks like we have some real exciting plot action going on here, though. Uh, Mikey marched flipped into Valor. marched, and Robert flipped Valor. So that both Mikey of them have is, their board uh, completely wiped. Mikey is tuned in right now. Uh, he is absolutely locked in. Oh, he's got another Dracaris and his own Jogo. Yep. So Mikey firmly in the driver's seat here. He's going to get claimed this turn, and Robert is not. Uh, Robert has a Daenerys in hand, but certainly not anywhere near the economy needed to play it. So being able to play two characters was definitely huge going into a, a zero claim on the other side. Yep, absolutely. And I think that's part of what makes Targ so good right now. All right, and so we have a Plaza of Punishment and a Great Hall, Great Hall coming out for... Robert, so he's just setting up, just conceding the board for now, and mm -hmm. going to try and crack back at a later date, maybe with the Blood of the Dragon or something like that. Uh, yes, that this way. is uh, the finals of the Las Vegas Regional Championship. Yes, Jeremy. Hi. <laughs> so Mikey has four power, and uh, Robert right now has none. So we've got, got a Fire and Blood to bring back a Rhaegal. I'm not certain to what effect. Interesting. Uh, also not certain what that power token that just went on fealty is for. Dom. But, oh, okay. Was that there all along? It was just hiding? It's mm, possible. No, I think he just put it on there just for so dominance. remembered it? Yeah. Oh, okay. The Blood of the Dragon was... He brought the, the Fire and Blood. Fire and Blood yeah. was after the challenge. That's me. Right. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. Yep. And so we're going to pick between two money plots. So Robert definitely has the location advantage here, but Mikey has the board and the power. Yeah, Jeremy definitely makes a good point. The uh, the regional season, uh, now that the, all of the games have split, seems to last a really long time. It does, and yet, for some reason here in uh, the southwest region, I guess, uh, unfortunately, it appears that... Uh, yeah, we got a double time of plenty, so each player is going to draw four cards here and get a lot of dollars. Uh, Mikey's going to get his extra for his uh, his agenda. Uh, but all four or all three of our regionals here in the Southwest region are uh, kind of in a row. We have this weekend here, we have next weekend in San Diego, uh, we have a large player run tournament at KublaCon the weekend after. Mm -hmm. Then we have ETX up in Seattle, uh, and then we have. The Northern California Regional, so that's five tournaments in five weekends. Okay, so Robert uh, found another drag. All right, so we got it. So we're getting and the Slavers, Slavers Bay. Bayport. Okay, so he's got some economy online. We'll see if he can claw his way back into this one. So having already spent the valor. Depending on what he drops here, th this could just be a really, really tough climb. It'll be Robert. interesting to see if Robert. Has but he's got he's got the other big characters left in the deck, and with that great haul on board, he's cert and the Slaver's Bay Port, he definitely has the economy advantage, and sure. he just got to dig four cards deep. Oh, and here we see Danny. Mm -hmm. So Danny's coming up this turn, uh, and he's got the got the Drac and two dragons. There you go, him, and so. that's those are the two you want. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if. Robert plays around Valor at all, or if he's just decided he can't afford not to. Yep. Uh, 
We'll see. I don't know if he already knows or if he played Mikey at all today, so it's possible that he doesn't know that Mikey doesn't have it, but. So Mikey has a huge hand. Looks like he's got a duplicate of Drogo. He's got a Blood of My Blood. That's a he's got a Viserion, a oh. Duke of Viserion, and a Dracarys. I think an Ago in there as well. So he's oh, got man. a lot of decisions to make this turn because his economy is constrained, but... So that's rough. Uh, yep, looks like Danny's eating a milk, or drinking a milk, I guess. Well, because you definitely want the... Like, the strength reduction isn't as important as her insight right now. I think that he's just got to dig, right? No doubt, no doubt. So she'll still stand and get stealth, so you might be able to force challenges through if you want to hit his hand and stall the game, but not being able to dig through your deck at this point is pretty rough. Especially when you mentioned some of his tricks kind of rely on having a full mm -hmm. a full discard pile, so he's not going to really have that opportunity. Playing around with six gold here. And he's still got his two reducers, so yep. he could put out Drogo, or he could uh, save some for a Blood of My Blood, try and go Ago and a Blood in the... Let's see. I think he definitely Seriously. wants an injury challenge. Uh, yep, he could afford Ago and a Blood of My Blood into Ricaro, presumably, mm -hmm. uh, which would be which would be a pretty good follow up for him. Yep. Although it's interesting to note that Viserion is vulnerable to the Plaza on the other side, the Plaza of Punishment. So and, that could be problematic. And Robert for him. has that Dracaris that he just top decked. So. Yeah, this I turn mean, could be a uh, could be a rough one for Mikey to navigate. Just depends on if he can swing the board. Then Robert's right back in this. Maybe that milk on Danny will be super important after all. Jogo will be a five for Mikey, is that right? I looks like he's Yeah, because the dragon's out of there now. Yeah, so so he would be out of drag range with that milk. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's still looking like uh, it's looking like Mikey has a drag of his own lined up in case he <laughs> decides to go that <laughs> we route. We have seen a lot of burn cards this game in the first couple plots. We have. like a Drogo, and, yep. then, and then a duplicate. I think that's ultimately the right call. Keep your could two. Could be the right call. The problem here is I guess you do could lose get, the intrigue, right? Well, it's not just losing the intrigue. Drogo could eat a Dracaris plus plaza of punishment that's to true, get him off the board. That's true, they're both end of the phase. So this could be a... This could be a real swing if, if Drogo isn't careful about things. Well, and this certainly speaks to the... Yeah, there's the power challenge. And this certainly speaks to the resilience of Targ right now, right? I mean, even on a, uh, a suboptimal first turn and then a reset, this board state suddenly doesn't look so bad. Absolutely. They, uh, they can come back in a flash, no doubt. It looks like... Like he's considering lining up a block here. Uh, but it's so far ahead, I would imagine that I would let it go in a post here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily risk anything. Maybe he's yeah. trying to keep Danny from standing, but I don't think that's going to work out for him. Yeah, I guess it depends on what he just wants to play defensively, perhaps. You know, maybe he sees, like, he's already spent his valor. There's really no problem with me sure. attritioning the board. I can march one of those guys. Well, it looks like... Yeah. So, who's going to get Dracarys here? So, Danny's going to get Dracarys by Mikey. Oh. Interesting. Uh, down to one. And then... And then he's going to uh, drag him back. There's some strange sequencing going on here. And then he's going to drag him back. He's going to drag him back and use the plaza of punishment kind of out of order. But yeah. It looks like Mikey's going to let him in. Yeah. Like I said, Child Drogo's going down. Yeah, that was uh, a little bit of a misplay on Mikey's turn. Uh, just not expecting that to possibly happen. Yep. And then. Uh, 
Wait, why is Drogo getting eaten? And this here? I, they're not taking into account the fact that Danny's milked. Oh, is that what it is? I think that's what it is. I think there's just a standing Danny, and they think, oh, five strength, but Interesting. she's possible. definitely blank. And there's the blood of my blood. And things have uh, turned around really quickly here. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do there, but uh, the fact that Danny is blank, I think. <laughs> Sort of slipped past both players. Unless was there? Uh, there wasn't like a double drag or anything. I think there was. I think it was. I stand Viserion with the uh, Plaza of Pride. Drac Drogo Drac. Oh, I see. The dragon. Oh, so he's uh, so he's gotten all three Dracarises off. Yes, I, I got gotcha. you. So. Okay. I was like, why are they both getting annihilated here? But this plays into your. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think you have a suspicion about what his next plot might be. No. <laughs> Really? No, it's a different, uh, different sequence. Interesting. Okay. So Let's clearly, see Robert might go for the, the the kind of greedy march here. We'll see if Mikey tries to catch him in a double march. Well, just, Mikey already marched. Mikey did already march. Right? I forgot about that. So, if. Robert can ask to see his used plots, or if he just remembers, then you know sure. there's no reason why you shouldn't just go ahead and clear the board here. Although I did get uh, a second March played against me today, so it's not Fair impossible. Enough. Fair <laughs> enough. It is not Although a definite one. If you march your dragon, then that's the important one. Eh. Yeah, that might not be the best play here. Danny's definitely blank he's, still. So. He's already he's already way ahead. It might be worth just confiscating here to get that milk off of Danny. Should be. Get her back online. And wins. Wins a, the world's promo wins a winter against a song of summer from Mikey. So, and so he Mikey's get the plot boost, is turned off. Doesn't get the strength boost. Uh, wow, that game turned around in a hurry. Robert has two claim and is drawing the cards. That game turned around in a hurry. It, it really did. And uh, Wins's initiative definitely beats March, or uh, not March, uh, Song of Summer. So he'll definitely play first. Mm -hmm. Whew. It looks like he's got his own copy of Call Drogo over there. He does. And plenty of econ to play it with the Great Hall and the reducers. And he'll be able to machine gun him twice if he tries to <laughs> if he tries to flood the board. Yeah, this is uh, this is not looking good for Mikey at this point. Wow, so that's a free call Drogo. It is a free call Drogo. Well so and he's still got his three gold and it looks like he might even just sit on it. That's the power of Great Hall for you. Yeah, I think he's wanting to keep cards in hand. Maybe he's got a Low cost one to be able to stand Regal for the second military if he needs it, just to sure. just to wipe it. So we got six gold from Mikey here, trying to stay in this game somehow. <laughs> yeah, he's he's definitely feeling it right now. So Robert's definitely going to be feeling pretty good. Um, but obviously now that you're ahead and you've managed to flip the board and play your way into this position, you don't want to like yep. rush anything or play too Absolutely. quickly. And we've, se we've seen a couple of those uh, on his side of the board where he's, mm -hmm. he's kind of skipped windows or, or passed things that probably should have been done. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, if he's able to keep his uh, peace of mind and, and keep his wits about him and finish this off. Uh, Jeremy asks why six gold. It's because he's playing Kings of Summer. Oh, that's right. There's, There's a winter, winter plot. plot. Yep. Yeah, true enough. Yeah, I can't even see what the other card. It is Winds of Winter. Yeah. Yeah, true enough. Just a just a misplay from both players there. Yeah, and nobody's really noticing that board state change. So I mean, there's nothing nothing we can really do about it. Sure. I think Mikey might be trying to line up a duped Ricaro from his hand. I think that might be what he has going on. Don't know if it'll be enough to get him out of two militaries from Drogo, though. Yeah. It'll be a, a tough ask. Well, and this is all assuming that Drogo can stand. C6. Oh. There's the Duke Dracaro. He has an Ago in hand as well, but certainly not yeah. going to afford him. And so that's... The Reducer Chud. And so Jeremy's point in the stream is actually well taken because, you know, 
had he played a two cost character that like might have been a little bit better at this stage than a reducer, then sure. that would have seriously impacted the board. Looks like Danny's going on an unopposed intrigue. And standing up stand. with Rhaegal, taking one of Mikey's two claim two. Yes, it is a two claim pot. That's good. So now his hand has been eaten, and now his board looks like he's... And this is a power. Yep. Okay. So he's going he's gonna to try to eat the chud and then pitch to stand, I assume. That would, that would be my guess. We still got two militaries coming after that. Yeah, and this, this is one of those situations where you got to really think through your challenges, you know, do I need... Yeah, see that, that I think that that's probably the right call. I agree. So we have two claim military, presumably taking out the duplicate and the reducer if Mikey sees that the reducer is going to die to the power challenge anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, he goes unopposed. The power up power just there. Any. And then he's got claim two there. And potentially, well, it looks like at least he won't be able to crack back with a second military that will yeah, get as, through. Yeah, as nice as those acrylic tokens are, sometimes I really can't stand them because I, I don't know what the state of, like, the win condition is sometimes because you True. have to stack them. And it's really bad if you're commentating on stream. I have no idea how, many, how much power is on his house guard right now, or his uh, agenda right now. I believe it's eight or nine and then one on Drogo. Gotcha. So he's getting close. And it looks like he has, in fact, passed challenges back okay. to Mikey. <laughs> uh, that, was a, that was a military challenge, so there was no plaza trigger. Well, I guess he could have plazaed one of the characters that wouldn't have died. Huh. Uh, I think he got the plaza trigger off of uh, Danny. Right, but there's yeah. no... He, he's reducing one of the characters on the board, but it's right. not, not no, going to kill him. It's so. not terminal, yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely out of order. There's, Just, been, there's yeah. been a good amount of that. Yeah. <laughs> like so he'll kill the dragon. Go down. Power challenge back. So it looks like there's a fire and blood coming in. Uh, oh, no, Quaith. Quaith of the Shadows to knock wow. Carl out. That is, that is a clever play. Uh, yes, Jeremy, that's that's true. That was out of order, but there's not a lot we can do about it, and it's been kind of consistent. Yeah. So. Yeah. So important to remember your duck, everybody out there in the audience. It looks like Mikey is going to make it to another plot, which mm -hmm. is uh, not nothing at this point. Uh, so Mikey's remaining plots are a close call, a blood of the dragon, and a uh, confiscation. It looks like he's chosen a close call. Mm -hmm. Presumably he's going to try and get back... Uh, a little extra money and try to get somebody yep, back. Try and draw something. Looks like a march happens to march one of... Whoops. That's, that's pretty ideal for <laughs> yeah. Robert. It's going to hit one of the two blood riders and a uh, Quaith who's done her job, really. Well, and this is probably... This is another instance where you probably should uh, determine an initiative before you go ahead and march, you know? True. Just to make sure that all the wind reveals are done in order. Certainly true. Because uh, Mikey has a Danny in his hand that I think is dead, right? Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't think he's ever yep. played Danny. Has he already played Danny? Yeah, he set her up. Oh, that's right. Yes. And so oh, I mean, she died in the valley, you're right? Right. And so you kind of want to make sure that you have her in your discard pile yep. and draw and all that stuff before it's very you march. Fair. Very fair. And it looks like yep. you were right that Danny is the one being selected. No winters, so he goes ahead and draws a card. Is that a fire and blood there? Huh? Well, at least he might be able to claim soak on there. We'll see what happens. Robert's still got a decent hand, so if he... Uh, if he's drawn any further burn, <laughs> even even a non-terminal burn like a dragon is no slaves this turn would be... Uh, yep. Probably be pretty devastating. Mm-hmm. Um, but if not, it's possible that Ricardo can uh, have some friends join him and get through on an Intimidate. Mm -hmm. We'll see how this goes. Presumably, Robert's chosen to play first. So the Reducer Chud. Another Reducer Chud. All the Reducer Chuds, which will die next turn if Mikey lives that long to, uh, to a blood. Which would be... Uh, that'd be interesting. 
So he looks like he's just passing and sitting on a mountain of gold. Uh, the mountain is a uh, Lannister card. Yeah, fair enough. Speaking of the mountain, uh, that Las Vegas alt art that we got here. Yes, it was beautiful. It's okay. got uh, it's got Gregor at a roulette table, uh, playing the game no, that he he's loves playing craps. so much. Oh, is it a craps he's table? Playing craps, yeah. Well, anyway, it's a, ga it's a, it's game, a, of chance. a game of chance, which <laughs> Gregor is always favored at. Yeah. So he's counting six and reducing by another one. Yep. The only thing he can really do is play Daenerys. You close call. Okay. So reduced by two. It's a lot of a lot of money. Looks like the Danny. Yep. See if she can uh, hold the fort long enough here. And then he's got a fire and blood in hand, so I assume he'll probably get a dragon out Ooh. here soon. And It'd be interesting to see see mm -hmm. the board flip back the other way for the third time this game. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know if it's going to be enough. I think Robert has just such a huge advantage on power that I even agree. if they cycle back through and there's a reset, it's going to be pretty hard to come back. No disagreement here. I guess the best you can hope for is to get some power on Recaro for military claim. Looks like Mikey's currently at Four, mm -hmm. and we believe that Danny is at ten or twelve. That's a big that power range. challenge. Or uh, Robert, is it ten or twelve? It's a large power challenge. It is quite a power challenge. So I guess he's like both Drogo to... and Danny. So we're gonna see the fire and blood here. I think is that what he's lighting up or not? Maybe uh, not. I don't know. I mean, I guess they're both reduced strength one. And so I mean, there it is. There it is. He'll we'll grab get back the uh, yep. Syrian, but that one is, is plausible bait if he doesn't actually win this challenge. I think that he's that's what he's mulling over right now is do I do I need the power icon to defend this or do I need something else to push through a different challenge? No Rhaegal out there for that Danny on the other side of the board to stand, so. Uh, Rhaegal's, Rhaegal's not out, though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you're saying if he, well, if he gets Rhaegal, Rhaegal with his fire and blood. I yeah. <clears throat> that, is, that is an option, too, but he yeah. goes with the stealth dragon. Okay. Presumably he's done yep. the math here to line up a block that wins in the challenge. Yep. Seems that way. Oof. All right. Let's see where we go from here. And he'll get his insight. Yep. Looks like a Dracarys, which would be an interesting pull. I thought it was a Slaver's Bay port. Could be. It's kind of hard to tell. This I can't see. Screen. All right. Uh, oh, interesting. It looks like they both and they passed. passed challenges and, and went to dominance, and now they're standing. Interesting. That was a it was a far quicker challenge phase than I expected out of that board. Yeah, and I mean, I think Mikey really expertly navigated that clear disparity in the board the past two turns. He has. Now we get a double blood of the dragon. Wow. So this turn will not be boring. Uh, Man. So it'll be down to Danny and Drogo against Danny and Ricaro. Mikey has initiative, which is important here. Uh, Viserion should be dead here, I believe. Oh, no All dragon. non dragons. Non dragon, of course. Viserion. Whew. Obviously, the dragon doesn't die to the blood of the dragon. Man, that is a, uh, that's a heck of a flip. <laughs> like I said. And it's it should be noted that the blank Danny actually means something here. It absolutely. Yeah. That's very important. There I was talking about how I'm not really sure whether that strength reduction was huge or not. Classic Luke. Yeah, here we are. Uh, but on the other side, you were talking about how resilient Targ was and how, how it's possible that mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna see it go back the other way again. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Be interesting to see uh and Mikey definitely has the hand advantage again, I believe. He has he's a good grip and mm -hmm. and Robert is down to two cards, one of which appears Three, to be a character. Like. Oh, three cards, okay. Interesting. And he's got the... I mean, Jorah is huge in this situation. He's medium huge. He's a two, right? Oh, there's his plaza own plaza. of his own? Oof. That is that is interesting. So that, that will potentially keep one of the other two out of a challenge. Oh, no. A milk for Drogo. Oh. And it's turning right back around. Yes, it is. We were, we were counting Mikey out, but he is... He is not letting us. 
He says this game is not over yet. Slavers Bay Well, Port, Robert goal. definitely, like, because he was playing from behind from that disastrous turn one, really had to spend a lot of fuel sure. trying to get back to this point. Jogo. Uh, so he's back. <laughs> so he is. Was he, uh, was he not dead? That's what I'm looking at. Uh, should probably have to check his dead pile because I feel like I saw him earlier in the game. I believe that's correct. Yeah, he set him up, didn't he? Yes, I believe that's. I believe this is gonna get. Uh, unless he uh, by a judge here, hopefully. Unless he like fi used fireball to shuffle him back. I don't that would know. be interesting. I didn't see that, but it's not impossible. Uh, is this his dead pile? Yeah. yeah. He, he may not be in there. We could just be uh, BSing. This is, this is definitely wrong. true. We've seen a lot of Targaryen decks between the two of us today, <laughs> yeah. uh, so you'll have to pardon us for trying to remember what Targaryen things are happening in this particular Targaryen game. Uh, so Especially our apologies to Robert if, if this is a completely legal play and we are right. dumb. Uh, and it looks like it is. Uh, Crone of Vaestothrak and, and Viserys uh, are the only ones in the... Uh, oh, the he was top. on the other side, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, good work, everybody. I'm glad we cleared that up. Oh, no, that's right. That was last game, wasn't it, that he sent him off? I uh, yes, yeah, I believe okay. that's correct. Yeah. Interesting. Well, now that we've broken the player's concentration, right? Uh, back to the commentary. Uh, both of these plazas of punishment are super interesting right now. Yeah. That's, what, yeah, okay. There's, all, there's so many... So many red and black cards. Targeting target real hard over here in Las Vegas. I mean, it is pretty hot, it's so pretty I guess hot. that makes sense. It's pretty hot. So hot right now. Targ. We have not made nearly enough fire or heat related puns. That's true. Sweating. An NBA Jam style. <laughs> He's heating up. <laughs> Might be called for here. This will be a very interesting challenge phase for both players to navigate. Uh -huh. Yeah, it feels like the sort of fulcrum of the game is sort of hanging right here on this challenges phase. It's very impossible. Well, Robert definitely has the power advantage, and so you have to see. You have to wonder how much Mikey can really press him into making a mistake. he wants the plaza trigger. No doubt. Uh, can the plaza trigger, that would kill just Chiogo right now, I believe? Is that correct? As long as at, neither of them are actually participating? At the moment, yeah. Uh, but that could that could change with the dragon is no slave if he has that in his hand, which mm -hmm. is always a consideration. Although he league. doesn't have any Yeah, he gold. doesn't have the gold for it, you're right. Which is too bad. That would, that would make the phase yeah, extra he would, interesting. He would need a way to stand Daenerys. Oh, so he's forcing Drogo to be in the challenge, it looks like, unless he looks like he stealthed, uh, stealthed one of the other characters with oh. Danny. Yeah, and so, then, okay. Interesting. Although he's not going to be able to intimidate Danny. Well, he doesn't even have another Blood Rider anyway. Um, but so he does get an unopposed military challenge here. Yep, and Drogo goes down, and the unopposed military will, uh, will kneel Danny. No, because he. Or. He doesn't no, have another right. Blood Rider, right. he and he's blood only rider. strength uh, strength two at the moment, isn't he? And Danny's a three, right? Yeah. Well, ignore me because I am bad at math. Yeah, but so this really Mikey does. Mikey has a Jorah and a bodyguard in his hand, and a, and shadow, a black. shadow Black. Yep, which is a, a mm. real key card for Mikey's deck. So if this goes another turn, and the engine could be fully online. Yep. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this Plaza of Pride. It hasn't been activated except once this game when there were some Dracarys flying back and forth. So uh, I think the the hardest thing is that like if if somehow Robert has something with which he can stand Call Drogo, sure. Then then the it's board state gets flipped back again, doesn't it? Uh, well, well, not he's, totally. He's still milked, so he's only going to lose probably the dragon. Yeah. Out of it, but it's not it's not ideal. I freely admit that. Well, I, you, but I mean, Recaro's in burn range. True. 
That was a power challenge, and Ricardo goes down to the plus. Did he not do his military? Uh, it appears that he did not do his military. I guess he was worried about the Draken Dan. Possibly. Uh, and then both players are... Yeah, I feel like right, that so was the... I feel like the that might have been the uh, the dagger right there. We'll see. It's interesting to note that this is, a, this is the seventh plot, so... Uh, and he has to confiscate one oh, of his own milks. gross. That is, that is not ideal. And uh, Littlefinger's meddling is Robert's plot. Okay, so this is the one that I was talking about, now that we got to finally get to seven. Okay, so the combo is that you, you chain up several draw plots in a row, and then he flips this and plays multiple burn cards at once. Sure. And it can absolutely just nuke a board. It happened to me. It happened to me. So yeah, he Danny got... Danny is unmilked, which makes sense to me. I, I don't think you can afford to let Drogo back out of his cage. <laughs> yeah, the renown is obviously the yep. super huge concern absolutely. at this point. Which, which brings up the point that if Robert draws a Drogon... And Danny could also be getting on the renowned train. Mm -hmm. Power total is still heavily in favor of Robert. So he's got a save there. So he'll go ahead and drop Jorah for free. Mm -hmm. There's four left. He's looking yep. like he's thinking about a bodyguard. I would assume. What's he got? Oh, Daria. Looks like a Doria. Get some draw going. Yep. It's not bad because his hand's looking a little empty. And then there, presumably there is the bodyguard. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. And one for the Shadow Black. The shadow black. All right. It's a, it's a decent turn. He's got some cheap guys to... Sack to military there are certainly adequate characters in the dead pile on both sides of this plane. No doubt, no doubt. And there's a uh, the death, the braided warriors for Robert. Corset card that you don't see a whole lot of. You do not. It's, uh, it's a surprising card to see out of out of Robert. It's just an efficient shed, and he is it's running right. Chronovice Dothrak, so that's another Dothraki you can kneel for it, I guess. That's, that's very fair. Okay. Lining up some challenges here from Mikey. I assume he has to keep trying to push power challenges through to... You have to stall the game, for sure. Yep. I think Mikey would really love to find a... Uh, it's worth... N both of these decks run Miri, yeah? I don't... I haven't seen him out of, out of Mikey's deck, I don't believe. Well, I know Robert. I know Robert does, and uh, if he manages to dig one out... Sure. Um with that huge economy base he's got there. That is a uh, tough mountain to climb. Mikey's not No. On Mikey's side, there are, there are still definitely multiple hits off that Shadow Black that could be very advantageous for him. Yeah, I wish we could see their discard piles, but not sure what's, what's optimal know at this point. I know that Mikey has some some amount of Dracarys left. It might only be one, but it might be multiple. Mm -hmm. uh, Mikey also, I believe, runs uh, Waking the Dragon, which could be could be clutch. So he's intrigue here or military there. Well, let's find out. Well, he's looking about looking to block with Drogo, so presumably yeah, it's a military, military challenge. Fair enough. He's trying to. Not lose his board here, but so it looks like he'll just block and chump, okay. chump block, trying to go back the other way. Interesting. Mikey gets a renown on, on Jura. I yeah. think that might have been a mistake. Uh, which the no, losing the losing the, that military challenge. I don't. I don't disagree with you, especially because plots are now flipped and he's gonna have a march come back. Yeah. So this will. Uh, We'll see how this plays out, but I, I tend to agree that somebody I, I would have blocked that. Somebody big is getting off the board. Yep. So he might be debating the uh, the double insight trigger just to get a couple more cards in hand? Mm-hmm. Double insight plus a shadow block trigger, potentially. Interesting, yeah. Sure enough. Yeah, it'd be quite a bit. Although, go from one the little fingers meddling does probably have... Mikey a little scared of some 
some events. Yep. Uh, we have seen, I believe, all three Drakaris from Robert. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's not on the table at the moment. Dragon is no slave. But yes, Dragon is no slave is still a very real card. I'm sure Mikey's probably not thinking about it, but it's great that he doesn't have any dragons to just be able to pull it back, though. Also true. <laughs> also true. Uh, oh, it looks like maybe Mikey may have passed. This looks like a challenge from Robert's Okay, standing. so yeah, playing a little defensively just to make sure that he sure. gets to uh, maintain Defend. as much of his board state as humanly possible. It's a Giscari Elite, it looks okay. like, with that intrigue challenge. Yep. So on the other side, though... And Robert misses Robert's his insight from Danny. Robert misses his insight trigger, but Valor is back in play for Robert, and there's... I guess there's the duplicate from uh, the bodyguard. So the plot, the next plot phase could be pretty interesting. Yeah, I think he's going <laughs> straight Mikey for it. Yeah. Not, uh, <laughs> no hesitation once again, there. <laughs> once again, snaps off the mark. <laughs> and we'll see what Robert What are we flipping into? Counting. Uh, yep. Hoppers. Okay. So, seems to favor Mikey. Yep. And he's going to march the Drogo. Oh, I guess he's hoping that he'll draw a new one that's, that's not milked. That's, that's, a, that's some attachment rule right there. Yeah. Just get him off the board and put him back. <coughs> oh, he did draw. Okay. So, one, two for two. two. All right. This is, a, this is turned into a very good final between these two uh, Targaryen decks. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's Slaver's Bay Port from Mikey gets some good econ. economy on the line. So he's well, he counting his gold. <laughs> yeah, so I was gonna say he collected income gold. before he. Uh, yeah. And plays out his Targaryen loyalist. I don't know if I would have played that there, knowing that that Valor is a possibility. I think I might have. Well, and both players run that. blood too. Yeah. So just putting down. Those little cheds may not be the best. I guess he's hoping that uh, it's just another power icon. I don't know. Uh, but, but Plaza's going to take that off the board if it's a power icon. Pretty much. Well, that Viserion is looking pretty juicy, though. I wonder if Dragon Meat's any good. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to try that for dinner. I'm sure if there's any... You can any probably find it in Vegas. If there's any place <laughs> in the world that'll have Dragon Meat, it's here in Las Vegas. So. Close enough, I might be able to find some gator. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. All right. Oh, it looks like there's a crown of gold there in oh. Robert's hand, which would well, be he has for he someone. has drawn a ton of cards. He has no doubt. And there's the there's the renowned dragon Drogon for Robert. So what's he got? So, and a Dory of his own. So and. Blood Rider. So he didn't so he chooses so he didn't not crown. to crown, which is very interesting here. Uh, so he may not have any designs on uh, I guess going with the crown blood play, which is surprising to me. Yeah, it looks like he's just hoping to close. That's possible. Yeah. I don't know if it's the right way to do it. The other thing that the crown can do, if he didn't think there was a crown target he cared about, which granted there probably should have been, but he can use that crown to stand in for another turn. He there for another one of the... Oh my gosh. Right, so That's some serious two. money. Yeah, that's two Slaver Bay ports, and two, or is that all three? Uh, I know. That, I think it's just two. I think he's got okay. all three Illyrian estates, three estates out. Estates, yeah. yeah. So let's see how this challenge phase plays out. There's one dragon on each side for each of them. So we can probably comfortably say that if you're interested in watching this game when it's uh, posted. There's examples of really great play and really sloppy play. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it's actually a great game to watch. This has been really fun. It's, it's some to, real thrones. It really we'll is. That. Yeah. I certainly, uh, it's with perfect information and, and sitting here. Right. Uh, easier air said than done. Comfort. Especially considering uh, the fact that they blew us both up in the cut. So. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, I've definitely... Please don't take any of our uh, commentary about mistakes made or, or <laughs> right. play to be uh, indictments of the players. They got through a very tough field. It's been a long day. It's always a long day to regional, even only 20 players. So we have Robert on 13 power. So it mm -hmm. looks like he might be, uh, like you said, trying to close with that Danny. Mm -hmm. uh, if he gets a power challenge through, that would, that would finish it. Uh, but whether or not he can is possibly another story. I think that Mikey's doing the math, make, 
and seeing if it's even possible. So, much like what you said, Mikey got the board back, but uh, Robert so far had power that it's, it may not have ended up mattering. It's very hard to to come back when you're down that significantly and then have a board wipe, essentially. Sure. Mikey considering a challenge with Danny here, it looks like. Is he trying to burn Stuffing up that, his Danny. that Daria? Is that what he's trying to do? Possibly. Find out. So she, so that was an intrigue defended by Doria. So he's trying to dig he's for trying anything to, to burn. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see what he finds here. There's a, a fun pyre in there, it looks like, maybe. No. So he's... No. no. I'm being told not a fun pyre. <laughs> uh, it looks like he may have found at least two targets for this trigger. He's got to decide between... So he'll get oh, the it takes a fire, fire blood. blood. Okay, so unfortunately uh, he can't get that onto needed. the table where Rayal Rayal could stand Danny, but still another still another character on the board at least. But possibly too little, too late here. Mm -hmm. He's definitely looking for for a burn there. See if there's any further challenges here from Mikey. Or if you just. sort of things are on tap here for challenges. Both players deep he in the tank. Took, he definitely just took two. chat that I'm a terrible person and forgot to text him when the final started. I apologize for that. I'm, uh, I think Mikey's just doing all the math that he possibly can to nope. see if there's anything. Oh, okay, so. He was still deciding. All of that, his, all of that, that yeah, <laughs> okay, Shadow yeah. Black, which yeah. explains why yeah, there's I was gonna some say. confusion about what event he took. Yeah, all right. So that, that's the shuffle from the Shadow Black shuffle. Yep. So it looks like he takes the burn event, which is obviously the right call, but not sure what he can do with it at this point. We'll see, we'll see. And this is the Intrigue claim. Yep. Uh, Robert laying out his hand rather strangely for this, but... Osiria. Mm -hmm. And the insight. Apologies for the random iPhone sounds stream. It's my bad. My mom has texted me. Oh. I am Hello, all the, I am mom. I am all the way across the country. Did you get her her Mother's Day present? Yes. Okay. Yes. You told me about your wife, so yeah, you didn't have any moms. We're we're all good. I took care of everything. All right, so looks like we're done with the intrigue challenge. And we'll see if Mikey has passed challenges or if he's going to try anything further here. Mm. So he might be lining up a power challenge of his own. Uh, aside from the Plaza of Pride, it is important to note that there's only one blocker mm -hmm. for Danny on the, uh, 
from Robert's side, so. Just trying to kind of slow the game down a little bit. Not sure. Okay, so this is a challenge from Robert, it looks like. Yeah. It looks like the power challenge with just Danny. Yeah. Chat noting that uh, Targaryen in the last two or three packs has gotten some very powerful cards between the Slaver's Bay Port and the Plaza of Pride. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the new burn event. Yep, and there's the concession. Wow. Looks like Robert is our winner. Two and, hands judgments. And showing that he still had all Ds. And a crown. Uh-oh. Uh Just for the real rub-ins. Yeah, that was, uh, I mean, wow, what a game. That was, that was quite a game. We saw a swing and a swing back. And then almost a swing back the other way, but just not quite enough. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Robert's our winner here from Las Vegas. Thank you all for watching. I hope uh, mm -hmm. I hope you were entertained by our commentary. And once again, thank you to Power Nine Games here in Las Vegas for hosting us. Uh, the streaming and everything has been absolutely fantastic. We will see you all sometime soon. I'm sure. Take care, everybody.